Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Slope Podcast. This is this. This is the. This is this. This is. I can't talk right now. This is the hey, podcast. Everyone, welcome to okay, another episode of the Slope Podcast. Hey everyone, welcome to another. Hey everyone, welcome to another. <laughs> this is the Slope Podcast. This is episode fifty-eight. I don't know what episode fifty-eight. This is episode fifty-eight. It's already been a while. It's been past a year. We are on episode 58 with lots of news to talk about with your favorite Sakamichi groups. It is Nogi Zaka, Kiaki Zaka, you know, the kanji version and the hiragana version, as well as Yoshimoto Zaka 46. Oh, yeah. Today, it's me and boy. Mm-hmm. Jimmy is out sick. Um, he has a flight coming up. So in order for him to focus, we told him, go focus on getting better. <laughs> don't, get, don't be on this show. <laughs> you'll get uh, us sick <laughs> yeah right because you know we we live together that's yeah, the yeah, joke like, like I, I can see boy if i open my door over there right yeah so <laughs> no but uh what's going on everybody um it's already like two weeks into the new year right but january like like 15 days right ago. now that is moving so fast mm-hmm already i don't know what's going on it's already about to be march right Mm -hmm. um so we both started classes this week Mm -hmm. huh yep the two busiest people are the two ones on the podcast (laughs) how are your classes going um so i did one class it was math oh how fun Uh, it it was a, a summary the first day and i was like i don't understand any of this but then when he started explaining i was like okay i remember all this (laughs) And this is going back at me, who was like, yo, I'm getting anxiety just looking at these problems. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> <laughs> See, the good thing now is you can just Google any problem and mm. get some kind of help, right? Mm. And even like a YouTube video explaining it differently, right? Yeah, dude. Khan Academy. Mm-hmm. Remember before the when day. they tell you, you don't always have a calculator with you, but now you do. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah, I started classes too. Mm-hmm. It was... Not really a review, but they kind of hit the ground running, dude. It's like, all right, Ooh. there's a syllabus. All right, let's 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 go. You start First writing lesson. stuff on the board. Like, oh no, what's going on? <laughs> um, but How yeah, often are you going to school? I have a class every day, Monday through Friday. Ooh. Same for me, and Saturday. <laughs> oh man, the weekend. <laughs> that is the worst. Mm-hmm. You have late classes, huh? Yeah, I have them after work. So once I get out of work, I head over. <laughs> Oof. Same. And then, uh huh. But uh, I have it in the morning. Oh, so it's. So you- <laughs> but I still go after work. So. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens mm-hmm. once the schoolwork starts piling. Right. So like, oh, no, no podcast this week, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just going to be Jimmy. <laughs> um, Jimmy will invite a guest. <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so what do we got on the show this week? We have plenty of news. Uh, once I get the doc up, I'll be able to accompany. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Here we go. We have uh, the return of the shilling corner oh here we go is it is it our our trusty crunky bar oh no crunky is is done is done with maybe later Um, on they'll revisit crunky but maybe maybe uh, they want to come sponsor us right again but uh yeah we have a few new commercials from nogizaka and it's just nogizaka actually oh look at them going Um, going at it right nogi starting off the year with a lot of activity. Mm, and mm-hmm. so we have the first commercial uh which stars Shirai Shimai. Ooh, yeah. Our girl Always getting good. work already. She wasn't now she the, the top? Shirai biased <laughs> podcast. Oh yeah. For this it's, oh, we should change the the show now. It's the Shirai Shimai podcast. <laughs> but no, it uh last year 2018 Shirai Shimai had like the highest commercial mm. uh number, right? Like she Yeah. For for the woman, right? For yeah, I think for both, or no? For both? I don't remember, but uh, I just remember it was like a bunch of girls on the list, so mm. 
but yeah, now she's part of the SoftBank new SoftBank commercial series, mm-hmm. like the new line of commercials, right? Because I think it's yeah. more than one. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's about like uh, like she's part of like these four people mm-hmm. who come upon the Giga Country, <laughs> and like the country <laughs> the has country. like no no network or something. Like there's no Wi-Fi. Or, <laughs> it's all, all post apocalyptic. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's like looking around, like, "Oh, where's the signal, yo?" <laughs> but it's it looks cool, man. It's all post-apocalyptic looking. Yeah, it's like it's like super cinematic. Yeah, yeah. Like all the blues and all the all the yellows in it and everything, like very like color. Right. Why is very like Hollywood style? Yeah, yeah, it looks cool. I like how it looks. Mm-hmm. But yeah, she's in the commercial with a uh, Okada Junichi and Tsuchiya Tao and uh, Kitamura Takumi. They're all like pretty. I, bet, I, bet, I imagine they're all. They're all fairly known actors. Um, oh, okay. You know, starring in big, big budget movies and stuff. Mm. And so, look at her climbing the slope. Oh yeah, good job, Mayan. Uh, and so Mayan's like the the cool Onesan character of the four. Mm. Like in the commercial, uh, like mm. the giant thing comes out of nowhere, mm-hmm. and everyone, like they're all freaking out, and Mayan's like, oh, "Shut up." <laughs> <laughs> I like at the end how the dog just pops out. <laughs> yeah, the soft bank, the dog, the mascot. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool series. Uh, looking forward to more. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a new series, so there are most likely going to be more. Mm-hmm. That's big time money for for my end. It's a it's a big big yeah. brand. The uh you know the telecommunications companies they have pretty big uh long running commercial series right. So there's the mm-hmm. AU one, mm-hmm. uh with the Santaro and then mm-hmm. SoftBank. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I I think before they used to do something with them right with SoftBank like Ecom I think did something with them. Like was she voiced the yeah, dog or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like the little puppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little, I don't know what breed of dog that is. Yeah. So it's cool. It's mm-hmm. not the first time Nogizaka did stuff with SoftBank. So, but this time it's like the actual person. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, more in the future, I guess. Gonna be cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um. There's also more. Nogi commercials for the Red Cross. And, uh, I mean. We've we actually seen, like, previews of this before, right? Like, it was, like, leaked or something on a poster? Yeah, I remember seeing something. But, uh. What is the song playing in the background? It's, uh, Caravan Wa Nemurenai. The. What was that from? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, I think of. Is it the newest one? Uh. Or the previous? Kairi Michi? It must be. Time to look it up. <laughs> because why would they use like an old one, right? Old single? Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Caravan. Oh, yeah. It must be. Caravan Wanimurana. It's the one with all the young members. Ah, okay. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah. We got like Saito Asuka and Yamashita Mizuki. Mm-hmm. Hori is in it. Mm-hmm. Hoshimina is in it also. Mm-hmm. I wonder why they selected these members. Maybe this is the new, oh, the new the lineup, new, new faces, the Ooh. you know the, the younger ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess because th- this isn't exactly like the number one. Well, I guess they're like the most popular new, newer faces, right? Oh yeah, like yeah. Asuka is the uh, yeah. Like you have your Masha and Yoda, who are like other ones being pushed right now. Yeah, from third gen, and then Asuka and is Miona, of course, as like, always. <laughs> she's like the new center. Miona mm-hmm. is second gen mm-hmm. and representative and Hoshino's center. There. <laughs> oh, she is just cute, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to include her with this lineup. Yeah. Uh, if you go to the YouTube channel. Uh, there's mm-hmm. a bunch of different like clips and stuff. There's a making of movie of the commercial. 
you want to see. Is it all green screened? Seems like it from the. Uh, they seem to be of... doing that a lot. <laughs> right. It's just the sky, man. I guess if they have the budget for it. Is it easier just to go to a studio? I guess. I guess you could like customize exactly how you want. Yeah, they don't have to go up to a roof of some random building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like take account of sun, weather. Mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, but yeah, there's a there's more on the channel. You mm -hmm. can go to the channel's two zero Ken Kets. You know, the easy to find channel. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don donate to the Red Cross? I don't know. Donate to the Red Cross in Japan to get Nogizaka goods? Yeah. If, of course, if there's goods a tie in. Uh -huh. right. Like at the end of the. You can get like a. What is this? A clear file, right? Clear file of, and some card. There's always a clear file. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Oh, I think it's like a card holder, right? Mm. Ah, yeah. Original card case. Yeah, it's a card case. Yep. Uh, so. So if anyone wants to donate blood and then give us a card case, uh, you go can go ahead. ahead and do that. Yeah. Have at it. I've never actually donated blood, so Maybe I don't know how it is. <laughs> Maybe Jimmy has. Maybe trusty Jimmy has. Maybe. He's a, he's a good guy like that. Mm -hmm. He's a plastic surgeon. He knows the struggle of um, <laughs> blood donating. <laughs> uh, but yeah, here's uh, another uh, Nogizaka commercial. The Baito mm -hmm. series of commercials. They have new ones. Always good. And it's, yeah, it's all cute and stuff. They dance and mm -hmm. they, there's a song. There's, there's a new one with uh, Asuka directing traffic. Mm -hmm. I saw you made a, a gif of this. Uh yes, there's the the one that was edited with the uh final destination. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that one? No, what is this? It's the scene in Final Destination where it's like on the highway mm -hmm. and the the giant logs fall off the truck uh -huh. and it causes this like massive uh you know, like massive accident and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, let me <laughs> let me look for it. Um, <laughs> do you know your blood type by the way me no i don't okay me neither always curious like i never really cared until you know how japan's like there's all these like blood type stuff right it's like mm -hmm. oh if you're a type oh you blah 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 mm -hmm. you'd be never. like hori and be type c oh man <laughs> <laughs> the non-existent <laughs> but yeah it's pretty funny it's like Ashley directing traffic and then like a huge, <laughs> a huge like accident on the freeway. Everyone dies and stuff. <laughs> From Final Destination. I didn't see that. <laughs> ah, why didn't I think of this meme? I could have gotten karma. You could have just like cut out Asuka and then like put her in the middle of a traffic thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, that's not the only new one though that they have. There's one with her and Mayan uh, at the karaoke place mm -hmm. where she like walks in with the drink and then Mayan's all singing. <laughs> and she's like, oh shoot, bad timing. Doesn't the song say something like that? Like when you walk into the karaoke? The yeah, the, the lyrics. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then there's another one with Asuka delivering a package, but it's all heavy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like she's carrying like nothing yeah should I she smashes her fingers <laughs> yeah and then the very last one just has like actual people oh yeah uh, Baito people um, Nogizaka's still there dancing yeah I see Manatsu there mm, and yes. Asamura yes alongside should I she's in that one yeah, it's mostly Asuka. Uh, Big push for Asuka this year. Yeah, and I think they're year. getting, they're probably getting ready to have her like, you know. Center the next single. <laughs> you are now the new Nogizaka center. Mm, you are now the face. Right. Uh, it's, 
natural, I guess, right? Yeah. As people graduate, you have to slowly. Yeah. The only thing is, like, she's new. she's been in the group just as long. So I know, like, right? <laughs> but she's like young. I guess she she started youngest, so like. Yeah, she's, she's the youngest uh, first gen. Uh-huh. So. Mm-hmm. I still think to... second gen needs that push. <laughs> right, the the forgotten generation. The forgotten, yep. That's why they should. Uh, I was talking about this on Twitter, but they should make the next Nogi Bingo second gen versus fourth gen. Oh man. Just to have like reignite the, the, the fire mm-hmm. of the second gen, mm-hmm. and then fourth gen gets to show off, and then second gen you never, that never got the opportunity can as well. All right, right. At the same time, mm-hmm. that's a that good way they could double down on their members. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Hopefully, they'll do something with something, second right? Gen. <laughs> we'll talk more about. Fourth gen. That uh, Nogi Ten isn't enough, dude. <laughs> yeah, because nobody, nobody watches that. <laughs> and now, like third gen's on it now too. It's like ah, ah, it's like even more. Ah. But uh, yeah, that's those are the commercials for the week. The Shilling Corner coming back mm-hmm. in full force. The oh, Baito commercials up, are cool. Chat brings up a good topic. Um, who is Asuka replacing? Like, if we think of it in the grand scheme of things. You think she's replacing someone, or do you think she's just the brand new center? Uh, I mean, I guess technically, since Nishino's a gone now, but she's been like center since before Nishino, right? Left. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I think they're just gonna make her like the face, mm. since the small face, <laughs> small face center. Mm. You know, she she is popular enough. Yeah, that I think uh, she could just graduate, and you know she'd be fine, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I think Nogi should be fine too. Mm-hmm. Not like that, you know, they've, they have they've like built themselves up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think they have the the other group to look at. <laughs> yeah, and not make the same there. mistakes, you know. Uh huh. So it's uh, so far it's working out, I think. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I think after this this year, maybe might be the some trying times. Yeah, we might see some brand new centers we haven't seen before. Yeah, you know, Hopefully. a lot more people might graduate, especially the mm-hmm. older ones. Yeah. So, my tune is what twenty six now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but I mean, the third gen is doing well, right? I think they mm-hmm. did mm-hmm. very well with third gen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they continue that trend, so they yeah, should yeah. be good. So, uh, let's see. We got more shilling. Not a commercial, but an actual, like, product. Oh. Uh, there's a new songbook from Nogizaka. A piano. Solo. Jazz arranged. Is this made by... By... Uh, our, our boy, Presso Music? That's right. Our boy, Presso Music. He oh. arranged all the jazz stuff. And so... Uh, they released the previous songbook, right? In which he mm-hmm. arranged also. Mm-hmm. Um, you can visit his channel on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Where he plays uh, some of them. Did an mm-hmm. influencer jazz piano version. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. There's also... Uh, Have you listened to the Bossa Nova version of... Yeah. Nigemizu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bossa Nova version. Very nice. Uh, Lots of good stuff there. If you haven't checked out his channel, I definitely recommend checking it yeah. out. The Bossa Nova version of uh, Nige Misa is actually pretty good. It like mm-hmm. It's totally different, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like, I, uh, like Sometimes you listen, you're like, oh, yeah, that is that song. Yeah, it's like, wait, is, this is Nige Misa? Mm-hmm. You know? Uh, it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see how many songs they have. So it has uh, Nige Mizu. Influencer, Sayonara no Imi, Inochi ya Utsukushi, mm. Natsu no Free and Easy, Kizuitara, Katamoe, Beretta, Ooh. Girls Rule, Oida Shampoo, Guru Guru Kern, Nai Mono Nedari. Oh, Ooh. if you want to cry. <laughs> that's a good one. Because that's already uh-huh. kind of jazzy, right? Yeah, it's like loungy, right? Yeah, so that's pretty cool. 
Mm-hmm. Go ahead and pick that up if you guys are into that stuff. Mm-hmm. If you can play the piano and read the piano notes. Which I sheets. can't. I, was, can I actually took a piano class too, but that was too long ago. In high school? Uh, in college. I just oh, in college, I don't yeah. know why. I, I, t- took, I took one in high school. <laughs> All right. Uh-huh. But the thing is, like, I didn't have a piano at home, so... Mm. You know, my only practice so, was uh, at school. And it was at like, the cl- during class. <laughs> yeah, during class. So I couldn't mm. just come home and be like, oh, yeah, let me, let me practice that real quick. Maybe I should have just bought like a cheap keyboard just to. Like a MIDI keyboard? <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> to, one. you know, <laughs> at least get used to the to the keys and stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, that is, uh, that's it for the shilling corner. Mm-hmm. Be back. So now uh, let's talk about some current events. What's the first thing on the topic? Uh, yeah, we don't have too many because you know it's still beginning of still the year. Beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so not much movement going on. But Kiyakizaka, of course, uh, moving first. I think last episode we were talking uh, to see who, which group we thought would would uh release a single first in the mm-hmm. year right mm-hmm. and guess what it's kiakizaka oh people yeah, in the comments on, on last episode guessed it <laughs> yeah good job everyone who guessed mm-hmm. uh kiakizaka mm-hmm. so their eighth single was announced the other day on their mm-hmm. website it's gonna be released february 27th mm-hmm. that's a little over a month mm-hmm and so, you know, type A, B, C, and D, and then regular type as usual. Mm-hmm. Uh, type A, B, C, and D will probably have, you know, the extra stuff, the individual, you know, what do they call it? PVs? Not really. Kiaki d- didn't do PVs, right? Last single. It was like a selfie thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it the pictures thing where they're like writing down seven or something like that, or in their blog or something like that? No, no, I mean in the for the Blu-ray. Oh, for the Blu-ray. Yeah. I don't oh think. yeah. Did they? Speaking of, they're releasing Blu-rays this time. Look at that. Oh, look at that catching up. Following Nogizaka, the mm-hmm. Blu-ray releases. Oh, last time it was the, the duo members, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, they went out in pairs last time yeah. for the uh, Blu-ray mm-hmm. content. So yeah. this time. Who knows? Uh, they'll release more details later on, of course. But uh, you know how Kiyakizaka always does some something on their website mm-hmm. uh, whenever like a new single is about to be announced. So mm-hmm. like for Ambivalent Seven Single, they had a little counter at the bottom, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, when it was like seven seconds or whatever, the seven would be a different color. Right. Oh, uh huh. For this one, um, you see on the main page, there's like the dots, like for the the gallery or the pictures or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, like, before they announced the single, uh, when you went to the eighth dot, it was just a black screen. Mm -hmm. And, like, the the color of the dot would change to black or whatever. And so people were like, oh, what what is, what's going (laughs) on, guys? Is this a glitch? Uh, yeah, so people figured it'd be the eighth single, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so. What is the reply? Someone replied to the tweet. Oh, this, like, this the, is Grand Prism? What is that? Is it someone just put that? I don't I can't confirm if it's real or not. Yeah. It looks fake. I don't know. Yeah, like, uh, why would they combine the fonts like that, right? Yeah. Not Either that or, like, some front end guy messed up <laughs> and like accidentally <laughs> like published the, the pay- oh shit it's supposed to just be like a black pick like mm-hmm. screen there well, now but, you guys uh, know if it's actually called grand prism someone messed up <laughs> yeah but if it's not then that's the single mm-hmm. yeah this is what they always do it's always like fun for the fans to like try to solve it or whatever Mm -hmm. but we all know like it's meant to be something for the single yeah uh, the last two wasn't that complicated you know Mm -hmm. 
The ones with the with the members blogs was like the most complicated. That was uh, fourth, I think. Is it fourth or fourth? fifth? That was the know. most involved one, where they would blog, uh, you know, pictures of like four things at once. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. Or something like that, you know. Or like four rocks together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like four onigiri or some crap like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just bunches of four. Yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. Uh, mm-hmm. And so, yeah, we got the uh, little visual thing here. There's green outfits, perhaps. There's like paint, paint splatter. Mm, maybe. What does that tell you? Mm. <laughs> it's going to be the next. Abstract gonna, stuff. It's, it's something on Splatoon. That's what it is. Oh, Splatoon tie-in. <laughs> Oops. Uh That'd be interesting, but uh, yeah, who do you think is going to be center? We should uh, make predictions. Oh, here we go. Let's Prediction see. video. Um, Ooh. Um, Get my, together and uh, who, do you, who veins, do you? My veins are telling me Tetchy, but my heart tells me it's going to be Tetchy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's so many, I, so many people I want to be center. Mm-hmm. This could be like a, a video on its own, but we don't have time to make it. Yeah. <laughs> like, what um, if we record, like, we make a video, uh-huh. and then <laughs> next week, Keaki Te Kake Nai, they're not the send Oh, damn it. There goes our video idea. <laughs> which, which has happened before. <laughs> so. Yeah. But, uh, you know, um, everyone's saying Techi, most likely. Um, yeah do you think second gen's gonna be apparently they're not because like there's people who like counted how many photo cards they're gonna release Damn. and it doesn't match up with, fans like, are hard the second gen so there Something are like nine second gen members mm-hmm. kanji of course mm-hmm. and so because hmm. like of course they include hiragana in there um, in the photo cards, so when you oh. count all the all the kanji and the hiragana, there's like 31 of them or something like that, mm-hmm. some some 30 number, and like it doesn't match up if they add second gen or hiragana third gen. Interesting. So it seems I like they're see. gonna stick with the smaller senbatsu. Right. So if it's like 30, so hiragana has 19 minus second gen. Mm-hmm. Kanji has 16. Right? Do they? 16 or 17? I don't know how much they have. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, let me see. 4, 5, 6, uh, let me 7, see. 8. Let me, let me count them. Um, let me see. Uh, there's Kumi. 17. <laughs> so seven, 17 kanji, uh, 19 hiragana. Mm. So 19 plus 17 is? No, don't do 30. maths on stream. <laughs> don't do it. 36. Okay, then I'll just leave it like that. Yes, 36. So there was, there was some number of 30 photo cards that they were selling. So it doesn't match up. Mm. So yeah, if second so, gen were to be in the send passage, they'd, they'd be like 40, 40 something. Right? Yeah. Unless they just added a couple of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, I'd, I'd really like to see a new center, mm-hmm. um, especially since you know, every, you know, they're doing the rotational ambivalent center. Oh yeah, uh-huh. you know, Pon was center of Kohaku and stuff. That was a mm-hmm. pretty yeah. If they gave her like something like that, yeah, you know, like the news mm-hmm. outlets when they reported on her photo book, they were like, "Oh, Kohaku Center," you know, mm-hmm. Kobayashi Yui. Mm-hmm. Uh, Releasing a photo book. Mm-hmm. Uh, it would be cool yeah. if someone else did. I'm guessing it's going to be one of those people who centered. Mm. It's going to be one of them. Like we could, I think, I think it, it's 80% sure it's going to be one of them. Oh, man. You, Josh <laughs> Box, super sure about this one. But uh, yeah, I think if they were to uh, do a new center... Now mm-hmm. is the time. You know, it's a new fresh start, man. It's, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's go. 
Mm-hmm. It's been seven singles. We need a new one. Yeah. The other one has broken everything. So, I mean, as like this says in the, in the chat, it doesn't matter. She can't perform. Right, <laughs> that's the thing. Like, Techie's a good center if she if she's <laughs> yeah, fit. She, <laughs> yeah, if she's if she's in her if regular she's not condition. Uh huh. Techie needs to be like good condition because mm-hmm. otherwise, then. Why make her center if she happened, can't right? show up anyway, right? Like, if she's uh-huh. not going to perform anyway, why make her center? Well, it's been like the past two singles. That's the issue we've been having. Yeah, so. I don't like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? You either have her there mm-hmm. or not have her center at all. Yeah. I mean, the other time she had a broken arm, they still made her center. Yeah. Right. That doesn't stop them. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> Yeah, because if they if they give her like at least a single rest for a single, mm. and then she comes back, she'll come back to her regular pos- condition, and she'll be good, right? Ooh, the uh, the comeback, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We shall see One though. So, uh-huh. so who's We're your hope for him? Other than Risa, I almost say Pon. I'll oh. I'll, uh, mm-hmm. I'll stick with Kobayashi. Mm. Uh, she, I, th- I think she wants that shit. Be like, yo, mm-hmm. I want this, and I think she will deliver. Cigarette says Aki P likes a shark. So does that mean it's Suzumon or Havu? Hmm. <laughs> Suzumon's cool too. Hmm. Uh, I think you know, it's obviously Suzumon, good performance and stuff. Hmm. But uh, I know Jimmy would be happy with the Havu Center. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. maybe he has some influence. Maybe no, he doesn't have any influence yet because he's just fourth <laughs> gen, right? Yeah, uh, but we'll see. If I don't know, man. Yeah, we just have to wait and see. Honestly, because right now it's like kind of up in the air, but we're all leaning a little bit towards Techi, like always. We should. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't get your hopes up with with anyone other than Techi. <laughs> <laughs> and if it doesn't, it's a good surprise, right? Yeah, but if it's a month and a half from now, then they should be announcing soon. At least the the lineup on Keaki Te Kakenai. Yeah, maybe like the next one or the one after. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. we shall see. Yep, we all have to sit back and just wait. Alrighty, let's keep going here with more mm-hmm. current events. Mm-hmm. We are all adults now, guys. Some Anogizaka oh. members celebrated the coming of age, their Seijin Shiki, uh, this past week. Mm-hmm. So we had members like Saito Asuka and Terada Ranze mm-hmm. and Umezawa Minami. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are a total of seven of them attended. Mm-hmm. There's a fourth the, gen in there. Yeah, uh, what's her name? Tamura Mayu. Mm-hmm. So I was like looking at these pictures initially, and like this picture, like I could not tell who that was. I was like, "Who is that? <laughs> yeah, this girl?" Too, I, was like, I was like, "This a random girl like sneak in in there?" Like what? I didn't. What? Who is this? Uh, fourth gen. That's why I don't know any of them. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, this is the only time uh, that uh, this will happen with all four generations. Oh, is it? Next yeah. year one? Oh, because, yeah, because Saito uh, is the youngest. is the youngest first gen. Mm-hmm. So. so here we go. First and only time. All four gens. Mm-hmm. So Wadamaya also <laughs> was supposed to participate in this, but she mm-hmm. was absent. Mm-hmm. Scheduling conflict. Mm, scheduling conflicts. Good times. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's pretty cool. She, she did. She did go later though. Oh, she had her, her like own. her own like private. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of pictures floating around the internet. Everyone looks nice in their furisode. Yep. Uh, yeah, my lord Kotoko has like that furry thing. <laughs> Right, like, I was oh, like, <laughs> "My lord!" <laughs> so legal, right? <laughs> and it has it has like a little face on the front too. If you look at the other pictures, oh, it's like a little uh, 
It's like a little like stuff animal plushy thing. thing, yeah. My lord, it's cool. Um, yeah. So Kiyakizaka also had a few m- members. Uh, Seijinshiki. I don't think Kiyaki mm-hmm. does any like event or like public right? ceremonies or anything like that though. <clears throat> they should just join Nogizaka, right? Make it like a Sakamichi thing. Yeah, why don't they? You know the the other group. You know, forty. <laughs> Like everyone, like everyone from uh-huh. the sister groups, they do like a joint thing. Then it's like a crowd of people. <laughs> yeah, and then they split up and go to their respective theater or whatever. But uh, mm-hmm. it'd be nice to see. Because, mm-hmm. uh, you know, my Kiyaki Oshi, Watanabe Risa, mm-hmm. uh, it was her coming of age this year. Oh. So... Mm-hmm. Didn't get to see any pictures. Didn't of get her. to see that. <laughs> no, but uh, for the magazine that she models for, Nonno, mm-hmm. they did like a whole, uh, like a, I don't know, like a, a bunch of articles and stuff of of her wearing different, like furry soda and different colors and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I think I think I saw that. Those are not great. Um, and of course, because it's a fashion. Uh, magazine mm-hmm. there's like oh look at this makeup look at that makeup mm. that's pretty so cool. i was using like the makeup as an excuse <laughs> yeah it's like oh might as well she's turning 20 or whatever mm-hmm. so a nice little uh, tie-in yeah mm-hmm. very nice uh, mm-hmm. yeah uh former kiaki member imaizumi yui also celebrated that Seijin Shiki, man. If you go mm. to her Twitter, she posted pictures. Wearing, or her Instagram, since they're pretty much the same thing. <laughs> yeah, that too. Um, so yeah, everybody adults. Mm-hmm. Legally legally drink alcohol in Japan. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's always funny hearing the stories when like they first drink and then they like try to tell it. And they're like, oh yeah. Like so some of them are like, oh yeah, I really like this one. Was like, no, I couldn't. I I, I couldn't handle it at all. <laughs> I think there was a, Who a was section it? of was it a no, Nogi member, right? Was it Kotoko? It's like, oh yeah, I drink whiskey or whatever. Oh yeah. yeah. She, no, no, she's was it whiskey or bourbon? I think it was bourbon. Yeah, yeah. She was like, I drink bourbon. <laughs> so what? Like, oh, like, oh, yeah, I liked it. All right. My lord, of course. <laughs> I think it was Ranze who who tried it on, on 46 hour, like for the first mm. time. And she was like trying all different types. Was it her or was it someone else? Might have been media. Might have been a second gen. Maybe know. media's the youngest one from second gen, so also not, not so, oh she be drinking illegally. <laughs> so it might have been Tara. <laughs> she got like the flask in her jacket. Like, <laughs> stress it, man. Stress it. Um, but yeah, very oh, uh, uh, very cool. Mm-hmm. Everyone looking nice. Mm-hmm. All right, let's keep going with the current events. Mm-hmm. The Zambi project got a lot of stage plays, but you know they're also making a drama. And mm. the uh, the drama they released a uh, a new trailer. They um, did. You know, as uh, the cast, the main three. So I had Saito Asuka, Yoroyuki, and Hori Miona. So glad Hori is like one of the main characters because like her thing is zombies. Yeah, she like, likes the horror before. stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So glad she's in. Now those three seem to be the representative from their respective generation, right? Mm-hmm. Pushing the new, the new faces here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Yoda's getting a lot of support. I mean, she released a photo book, man. What? <laughs> <laughs> like freaking first... Yodo Chan? What was she? She was like seventeen, right? Yeah, man. What the heck is that? But anyway, you know, we have uh, the cast is mostly the third gen and second gen, but we also mm-hmm. have a uh, a one Akimoto Manatsu A. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also have a uh, Hoshino Minami. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the rest are mostly second and third, right? Yeah, the rest. I think all of third gen are uh, are in the drama. Yeah, it looks like it. And then... Uh, are all of second gen there? A few sprinklings of second gen. Maybe There's all a lot of, of second gen. I don't know. 
But uh, let's let's look at the website here. So yeah, the main three, and then there's seven second gens. So it's from second gen. We have Ranze, Maichun. Oh no, Media? Kotoko is in here. And Kotoko is in here. Itojuna, Ayane, Kotoko is not. Is not there. Ah, oh, my lord. I do not I do not enter with this. <laughs> I do not participate in such peasantry. These common common stories, these peasant Commoner. stories. <laughs> Commoner stuff. <laughs> um, these tales of the peasants. Yeah. Is she why the she, only one not in question there? marks? Oh man. Is she the only one? She, why she, why does she know she not have a uh, maybe she's like a mystery. But she's probably going to play like the teacher or something like that. <laughs> Why wouldn't they have a... Uh... Everyone's a student of the same school, right? Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think Yamazaki's there either. And Kichan. Oh, Kichan. And Karin. Yeah, a Karin lot of second gen not there. There's only a few second gens, but there are all of third gen is there. Three of them are not there. Okay. And all third gens are there. Hmm. Yeah, so there's a quick synopsis here. Uh, apparently, like the the uh, the classmen on some trip, and they're coming home, but their bus breaks down because that's a very uh, horror movie trope, right? Mm -hmm. horror, horror trope, and so they they split up to do stuff, and then they uh, encounter zombies. I guess I don't know. Mm -hmm. I can't translate this page, so I don't know. <laughs> I can't right click. <laughs> <laughs> it's but, basically uh, just like the the basic horror story, like especially Japanese, where it's like, "Oh, hey, we're in this situation, and yeah. now we have to do something about it." <laughs> I'm hoping there's more. Uh, oh, here we go. I got a Google Translate. Okay. It says, "On the way home from the school trip, Frisia schoolgirls who broke down because the bus broke down." <laughs> We're, we're, okay. We're, okay. We're walking in search of places where the group could be contacted. All the people who were exhausted decided to take a rest at a Japanese house where no one is present. So far, so good. The next morning, I woke up. <laughs> Yamuzu Kaede, also known as Saito Asuka, okay. uh, noticed that there were no classmates and in a hurry to find out. If you are wandering around the village, you will be warned to leave the village to a mysterious man. Takuma Moriguchi, played by Katagiri Hitoshi. <laughs> that sounds uh, right to me. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> then I heard a voice from nearby. I meet again with Mr. Morinaga Hori Mas Masaru, played by Kazu Hori. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Kai-san, played by Yosuke Yoneda. It was Kaede who returned safely from the village to the school. Well, there's your synopsis, guys. Oh, okay. So they actually make it. Okay, that's weird. Okay, that's interesting. But uh, uh, I didn't notice this before, but Shinuchi's uh, character's name is just Utsukushi Onna. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> She's a mystery, dude. I'm looking at the English translations, and yeah, it just says <laughs> beautiful, beautiful lady. Um, Didn't they release like a like a an early teaser of yeah the like a while thing, ago where it was like oh there was like a cult here or whatever right mm -hmm. so that was like maybe, a while ago that's before they announced like the stage play or anything yeah maybe it, it revolves around that they like come yeah. across that stuff mm -hmm. well, I mean, I it has know. to do with zombies right i'll i'll Eventually. check it out yeah i'll check it out we'll give it the three episodes yeah i'll give it the, yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, so it, it will start airing next week, actually, January 23rd. Oh, already? So, yeah, it's it's the new drama season. Most mm. of the uh, dramas this season are starting this week. So we'll see. We'll see how it Hopefully is our, together. Hopefully our suburb friends will attempt. I heard a rumor. To pick it up. Oh, heard a rumor. Mm-hmm. 
Um, yeah. So mm -hmm. that does it for the current events. But that's not all, is it, boy? No, it is not. Uh, hold on, let, let me open my JoJo soundboard. No, it, what did he use? Um, wait, there, there was a pop-up that showed up? I think it worked. That was our did you hear it? thingy. Yeah, I, did you hear it? Yeah. What was it? It was a donation. Oh, by who? It was, it was Tron. I think he was just testing it. Oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. We got Josuke. Huh? Huh? <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, and that symbolizes um, the TV show roundup. That's right. It's time for the uh, variety TV show roundup. This is the segment of the podcast where we recap uh, some of the weekly variety TV shows of Sakamichi mm -hmm. series groups, mm -hmm. such as Hiragana Oshi, uh, Kiyakite Kakenai, uh, Nogizaka Kojichu. Mm -hmm. We also cover a few others. Uh, like Nogi Ego, which airs next week. Ooh. And according to Nick, is one of the best episodes. So, Oh, yeah. I can't wait for that one. Um, and, uh, you know, if, if members or one of the groups appear on a one-off show, we'll cover that too. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually watched the first episode of the Yamashita Mizuk drama. Oh, did you? Uh, the Miki Clinic. How uh, often does she show up? Uh, she is quite reoccurring, I, w I oh, would really? say. Uh, so the drama is about like this kind of not sketchy, but they're kind of like an underground like hospital type thing, mm. or like no one, no one really. It's all secretive and stuff. Like Is no one like, knows, and they uh, operate in the guise of a bar, right? So it's like <laughs> it's like a bar so, so in this it's big not, building. It's not, like, not like Yakuza hospital that like criminals go, right? It's like a no. It's not. You know that movie Hotel Artemis? No. Oh, uh, like Hotel <laughs> Artemis is about like a hotel that treats criminals only, right? Mm. And it's like a um, it's like an exclusive club type thing. I thought this drama was going to be about that, but it's mm. oh, it's it's going to be similar to that, but it's not. Is it just people without healthcare? <laughs> no, it's like they take care of like high profile. Oh, okay. People like celebrities and stuff, I guess. Yeah, but I, like I don't know. It's kind of weird, but um, uh, Yamashita plays the nurse. So like the main character, um, the main character is like a uh, he's a doctor. That got mm -hmm. fired or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like the first episode doesn't go into detail, but yeah, I guess you know there's some medical malpractice. So he's like out of the mm -hmm. job, and so uh, he goes to the clinic, right, to mm -hmm. like apply. I was like, oh, there's a new hospital that actually will hire me or whatever. And so mm -hmm. he goes in there, and he's like, yo, this is a bar. What the? <laughs> and then like the the bar owner guy is one of this like the main surgeon dude. Mm -hmm. and so like they hire him and then. He like meets the the rest of the like the you know the anesthesiologist and like mm -hmm. the rest the, of the team, yeah, right? like the team, and like Mizuki is uh, the nurse. Mm. Um, of course, she would accept that role, right? Yeah, she knows what she's doing, <laughs> right? Uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, she like. Uh, She's like the main like server at the bar or whatever. Uh huh. It's like, oh, here's your coffee or or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, and like, uh, so like they they get their first patient of the episode or whatever. Mm -hmm. And like the the main character doctor, like the new guy, he's like asking, you know, like the nurse is usually the one that hands him like like in a surgery, they hand mm -hmm. him like the tools and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, I think I need this tool. And it's already like in his hand. She's like, I got you, bro. <laughs> it's like, oh, man, look at this nurse. <laughs> so good. Uh, but it's kind of interesting. I might check out another episode. But... Hmm. If, I don't know. Like, time. You know, it's a, 
it's it's kind of like a medical drama mm-hmm. and like it's part that and part like investigative detective ish mm. drama because for some mm. reason they go help solve this case i don't know why <laughs> it's like oh why this why this person like get shot or whatever mm. i don't know he's like I don't, dude i'm a doctor why are you telling me to go investigate why <laughs> I don't know it's kind of weird, but uh, mm. that's that's a very Japanese drama thing. Mm. Uh, but yeah, mm-hmm. um, it's called Miki Clinic. De whatever, whatever. Uh, just look for her name. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find it, and then look for the dramas that she's in. It's there. Uh-huh. Um. Anyway, uh, good for her. <laughs> good job, yeah, yeah. Mizuk. That's like a pretty big role, right, in the drama. Yeah, like a supporting. She's supporting like character. a main, one of the main supporting cast, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, the there drama already airs on uh, Thursday. Which drama? No, never mind. Saturday. Sorry. So the first episode okay. aired this week. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Uh what else? Good oh, stuff. the uh, forty-eight show. This week mm-hmm. covered uh, the Kohaku performances oh, okay. from the other group and also Sakamichi series, of course. I mm-hmm. um, feel like behind the scenes type stuff, recommend. Mm. So they go behind the scenes, Kohaku, what happened or what? Yeah, it just shows them like rehearse. Um, and then... The perf- it shows like the whole the full performance at the end of the episode. Mm. Uh, there is a a nice scene in the middle with Takahiro Sensei, oh, Takahiro. where uh, you know because he's always at their show, right? Like if it's like mm-hmm. a big show, mm-hmm. uh, he's there. So like the first, like the thirtieth, right? Yeah, the December thirtieth, day before, or two, no, two days before. Like the actual Kohaku, they mm-hmm. do like rehearsal, right? And mm-hmm. uh, and then the day after is the camera rehearsal. So it's like they do the whole show, mm-hmm. like or they they just do it like as if it's already like the main show or whatever. And, like with the interviews yeah. and everything. Yeah, so then the cameras can all get their positions. Yeah, right? get there. Yeah, Even though they didn't do that good of a job this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then so you know the thirty first a- actual Kohaku or whatever, mm-hmm. and so. Takahiro Sensei is like talking to them like during rehearsals. Uh and it was the day after record Taisho. Mm-hmm. And he's like like oh what's kind of this or whatever. And uh mm-hmm. he's like I see that uh Nogizaka I saw record Taisho. Like Nogizaka won. That's that's really good. Uh and then he like he stops and he's like he like starts crying almost. And then they're like, "What? What? What's going on? What? What is he doing?" And he's like, "Oh, dude, it's Kuyashi Des, because <laughs> you know, like, ah, oh, you guys work so hard, like with uh, rehearsals and like practice and stuff like that. But uh, mm-hmm. you know, we couldn't, you couldn't take the record tie show this year." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Oh man, Sensei, <laughs> so much, <laughs> so much passion, man." He's like, damn, this guy really cares for them. And that's that's cool, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I think he, like not even Nogizaka has that connection, right? Since Takahiro yeah. Sensei has pr- like mm-hmm. choreographed all their their dances and stuff since the beginning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess recently Nogizaka's been using like the same person. Mm. Well, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Building up that rapport. Mm-hmm. Uh so I hope okay. uh-huh. Kiaki wins this year. Oh, just so Takahiro can mm-hmm. get his revenge and uh, and cry even more <laughs> when he yeah. wins. That's true. Chat brings up uh, Nogi has Banana Man, but it's, that's yeah. like a different relationship, right? Mm-hmm. It's like on camera a lot of times, and like well, this is like behind the scenes they see the yeah. struggles and stuff like that. But uh, I'm glad both groups have like that kind of figure. Mm, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, so mm-hmm. that's cool. Um, and for the Nogi side, for uh, who does Hida gonna have? No one. <laughs> no one. No one. Because yeah. not, because the hosts don't even remember their names. Ah, well, except for Audrey, dude. 
except for Kasuga, who <laughs> had to remember all of them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, behind the scenes for Nogi stuff, they just kind of they showed when Banana Man showed up, and you know, it's Nishino's mm. last performance, mm. that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. but yeah, that's that's the extra stuff for mm-hmm. the week. A little sprinkle of extra stuff for your TV roundup sandwich. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so we have Hiragana Oshi. This is uh, Hiragana Kiyakizaka's uh, regular show. Mm-hmm. They did more stuff <clears throat> that I can't understand. Same. So we're just gonna kind of <laughs> uh, go through this real quick. It was uh, I wasn't. Ain't nobody got time <laughs> <laughs> to translate all <laughs> to that. To translate all this. Um. So it's the adults team versus the minors team. Mm. Uh, a few Hiragana members also had their Seijin Shiki uh, recently. So Takamoto, uh, Higashimura, Takase, and Miyata. Now mm. adults can drink alcohol legally. Mm-hmm. Um, In Japan. So yeah, they're going to do a team game. So the miners team come out, you know, the mi- they're like it's like Bemiho and uh Kakizaki and Nibu and them. Right? Mm-hmm. They're all coming out. They're all wearing like grade school uniforms and stuff. <laughs> uh-huh. But then some of them are wearing like kindergarten <laughs> like uniforms. <Yeah. laughs> Audrey's like, "Yo, what's up with your uniforms, man?" Mm. Kawada, <laughs> I'm I'm 5. I'm 5 <laughs> yeah. years old, dude. Like, what about you, Hamagishi? Oh, I have slime. <laughs> yeah, I have slime. That's not even what we asked. Dude. I know, right? <laughs> God damn it! The whole episode, she was like that. Uh, and then the adults team come out and they're dressed. They're like cosplaying different like careers. You know, there's mm-hmm. Kyonko was a nurse, mm. <laughs> and like Kumi was like an astronaut or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> they're like. Uh, Ushio is a cabin attendant, right? It's like, yeah, I wanted to be one, but I was too short. So oh, yeah, that, that's a thing. It. Like, you have to, like, pass yeah. a certain height. Yep. Uh, that seems like an Asian thing, isn't it? To want to be a cabin attendant? No, I mean, like, like the... The height thing? The height thing and, like, right? I feel like... Is it? Because, you know, I'm flying here in the U.S., all kinds of people are <laughs> cabin attendants, <laughs> you know? Maybe it's an international thing. Oh, maybe. But, um, I mean, Japan made dramas revolving around being cabin attendants. Mm, you don't see much of that here. Yeah, over here is just like, uh, look at this lady. She's been doing it for like 30 years. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. There's this dude over here. I don't know. It's, it's <laughs> all good, back. man. Um, but yeah, Wakabayashi, he's like, yo, look at Iguchi. What is she supposed to be? <laughs> Iguchi's like wearing this like power suit. She has a hat. Uh, and she's like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a CEO, dude. I'm a president yeah. of a company. And they're like, what? What? You run a snack bar? Like, oh yes, exactly. My snack bar is a chain now. <laughs> and we got locations overseas. You know, we gone worldwide. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And they're like, oh damn, dude. <laughs> so kind of S- snack that. mama is now the president. And so, um, the first game they do is the world. The word play game. I wrote world and the thing. It's a word play game like they did before. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple episodes back. And it's too much Japanese for me to care about. Mm-hmm. So, y'all. And I understand even less. So <laughs> They basically, you know, there's like quotes from famous people. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's like, a oh, Steve Jobs one in there. Yeah, fill in these blanks to make your little quote clever or whatever. And there's a lot of mm-hmm. like word play going on. It's because you're an adult now. You're supposed to try to do, you know, be clever and shit. But mm-hmm. anyway, the the miners team wins because mm-hmm. they were funnier, I guess. <laughs> uh-huh. And so the second game is the the trying to be sexy because you know, oh, you're an adult now. You got to be sexy and stuff. Mm-hmm. So they like pull words out of a box randomly. And then they have to say that word all sexy. So the miners team the, goes the first. The other group has done, done this plenty of times. Yeah. The miners team, they, it's like a varying degrees of, of sexiness, the way they mm-hmm. sit it. But then Hamagishi is last. Mm-hmm. And like, she can't even sit. She's too, too <laughs> she weird. She turns around. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> she doesn't grunts. even say it, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she like drops her slimes at one point, and like, oh god, forget I, I like it. Dude, how she this picks kid. it up and then puts it back. <laughs> it's like, yeah. all right, I got it back. <laughs> She is not 17 years old, dude. Get out of here with that. <laughs> They're lying about her age. Freaking child. Just to get her in the group. Um, but the adults team, they go for a more comedic style. <laughs> well, except for the first one. The first one was like, oh, okay. They're starting at that level. Yeah, they're like then, uh, uh, whispering or like blowing mm-hmm. kisses. Uh-huh. Then the rest but are then, just like being stupid. And all right. <laughs> like, ah. Uh, I forgot. Ha, ha, ma. Hamu, da, da, da. Oh yeah, it was. I forgot what the word was, but yeah, they Something were being hammed. they were being dumb with it. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, because they were funny, they win the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's I see a key here. Huh? I see a key. You have to be funny to win in. Oh games. yes, of course. It's variety, after all, you know. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, that's it for the the majority of the episode was the word play game. Yeah, but since... T- yeah, it was a huge chunk of the episode, and so... Mm-hmm. Next week, this continues. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully, it's not as uh, heavy on the Japanese. I saw they had the, the bucket one where you had to, like, hold the rope and then grab it. Oh, it hits, it, your head. it hits your head, yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that should be... A while ago. Should be more entertaining, at least. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> more of that physical, please. Let's go to the next show, which is Kiaki Te Kakenai. This is Kanji Kiaki Zaka show. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're continuing the Sugai versus Rika because they it's the year of the pig, and they're mm-hmm. both born on the year of the pig. Mm-hmm. So the first game is the chicken game, where like one member lays down on this track, and they have, they have to push her. Mm-hmm. Um, to get as close as they can without hitting the pie. Mm-hmm. Right. And so Sugai goes first. And then Habu and Satoshiori pushes her. Mm-hmm. And they like they push her pretty hard and there's too much power. Mm-hmm. And she face plants the into pie. the pie. But she like gets up and like puts her face down again. Oh, like, yeah. Why <laughs> what, you do that, dude? It's like, oh, you know, the first time was kind of half assed, dude. So I had to do it. <laughs> like, oh, oh man, what a captain! I was like, oh, here, uh-huh. have a t- uh, Tsuchi gift. Mm-hmm. He's still <laughs> handing them out. Um, Rika goes next, and Odanana mm-hmm. and Ozek go and push her. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it was like a little bit softer. Uh-huh. It's like, uh, Trying to be careful. And so they, she stops at like two around two meters. Mm-hmm. It's like, ah, oh, could have been better. Uh, Habu was next. And then Moria and Suzumoto pushed her. And they're like, oh man, there's mm-hmm. a lot of power in this. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's uh, try to get as close as we can. But they're like greatly underuse their power. They forgot how tall like, Habu was. They stopped at 3.5 meters. Like, oh, what a <laughs> disappointing effort. Uh-huh. Uh, and so for Rika's team, Ozeki goes next. They make up for the power. <laughs> and then Risa and Koi can push her. And then they're just like, <laughs> yeah, they, they go like full force. <laughs> go like Koike, like ran, dude. She, yeah. just, she took a few extra steps. Uh-huh. Just like launch Ozeki down the track. And she like <laughs> plows the through track. the pie. She almost like flies off the little thing that they mm. lay on. They're like, holy shit, dude. What the hell? Uh, and for her efforts, Tsuchi gives her a little gift. Good job, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't give it to, to the throwers for, for doing like a good job pushing it too hard. <laughs> <laughs> right? Damn. Uh, and so for Sugai team, Neru goes next. And uh, Kobayashi and Ishimori push her. And it was really good. Mm-hmm. They get within a meter. Stops at 37 centimeters. They're like, damn, dude. Mm-hmm. Good push. Mm-hmm. And so for Rika's team, Oranana goes with uh, Nagasawa-kun and Saito Fu-chan. Mm-hmm. And they were clutch. They go all the way to 35 centimeters. Ooh, Damn, barely like beating out. Damn. And so they it's all, it's all get always, <laughs> Their team always goes like just barely, right? Like, right. like Moria with the, with the marshmallow. Like the last oh, yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now by two centimeters. Ooh, man. Clutch. Mm-hmm. And so Rika's team wins that game. Oh, it was the other team there. 
And then so the next name is the sumo. The sumo. Where they wear the sumo suits. Did you see all those, all those photoshops that people like put them on keychains? Yeah, and stuff? the keychains. It's cute, man. <laughs> so for Sugai's team, you had Sugai, Moria, and Suzumoto. And so like they all come out and it was like, oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> Look at Suzumon. Look mm-hmm. at her. And Suchi's like, yeah, they should make like keychains. So that's why people made photoshops and stuff. Mm-hmm. Over. Um, for Rika's team, uh, we had Rika, Oranana, and Risa. Mm. Why is Risa's sumo suit so much slimmer than everyone else's? like, yo, what's, like, what's up with their suit, dude? They bought the cheap version. And they're like, well, we have this extra one. <laughs> <laughs> so they pair off. Uh, Risa goes against Suzumoto. Mm-hmm. And Suzumoto with that charge she's like they're like whoa um so you know they're like wrestling around spinning mm-hmm. around some wrestling s- some wrestling in there and then susan steps out of the ring first so she loses mm-hmm. the next bout was moria and Oda Nana. and i was like oh dude moria's kind of bitch kind of crazy dude i don't know <laughs> she might just throw you out <laughs> And uh, that's exactly what she did against Oda Nana. <laughs> She's just like, get out of my just, ring, dude. Excuse me? <laughs> Oda's like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, the last one was Sugai uh, against Rika. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, they, they were wrestling a bit. But then Rika's, you know, chomage was, you know, falls down, covers her eyes so she couldn't see. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, she takes her hand off Sugai for a bit to, like, throw it off. Mm-hmm. But that's what cost her the match. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sugai's team wins that game. And then in mm-hmm. the end, uh, out of all the games, they are tied. And so they're like, oh, we need a tiebreaker. So let's just do another thing of the sumo. Mm-hmm. You guys are already dressed up. All right. So they're like, uh, Moria goes for Sugai's team. And then Risa goes for Rika's team. Mm-hmm. Risa's like, yo, man, I'm scared, man. <laughs> right? Who <laughs> wouldn't be? And then, so, like, Moria, so scary. <laughs> the fear wins her, like, right? <laughs> the match. <laughs> um, they're like, yo, look at her, dude. It's like she's freaking, it's like judo or some shit. And she's like <laughs> trying to do a leg sweep on Risa and stuff. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 it's like, damn, Moria, chill out, dude. <laughs> And so Sugai's team wins and they get the fruits. Mm. Uh, and then Tsuchi gives his last gift to Sawabe for being such a good host. There we go. He also caught a marshmallow, so... Oh, that's right. Good job, Sawabe. Uh, mm-hmm. Next week, the members who turn 20, who celebrated their Seijin Shiki, mm-hmm. have a little location shoot special oh. for all of them. Nice. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Who is that? That's uh, it's Risa, Risa. Oda Nana, Koike, maybe, and Neru. I think. Well, that's a good. That's a good combination. That's a good combination of members. Yeah, Oda Nana's there. Uh, you know, you don't have to worry. Yeah, yeah. She's a she's the balancer. Yeah, she's <laughs> she brings unity you know, to the group. Yeah, it's like everyone loves Oda Nana. Mm-hmm. So, uh, that's Kiyakite Kakenai. The last one mm-hmm. is Nogizaka Kojichu. This is Nogizaka 46's regular show. And this is also mm-hmm. a continuation from last week's one hour special. It's like a. Uh, out, it's like a. Kind of. Maybe more of a recap. It's like a 1.5. <laughs> like they had so much good stuff from the last episode that they couldn't fit it in a whole hour. Mm-hmm. So they have another episode for it. Mm-hmm. And of course, that's Shitara team versus Himura team. Mm-hmm. Um, they revisit the badminton-ish game that they skipped over from last week. Mm-hmm. And so, Shitara team has Shinuch, Hoshino, Saito Yuri, and Kubo. Mm-hmm. I like how they're all naming their like skill level. Oh, and all right. of them are like, oh, oh, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty oh, good. Oh, yeah, three you... years in middle school? Three years in elementary school? Oh, you like, were the captain? You... Oh, oh, oh. Good job. Right. Uh-huh. Uh, and so, Himura team had Kaz, Hori, Satokaide, and Sakaguchi, Ball Chan. I like how she's like, uh, I, I played once before. <laughs> right? It's like, uh, but, Meanwhile, Dencha was like, oh yeah, I was a captain for six years or whatever. Like, Yo, I was, I was serious about that shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if they concede a point, they get face painted on them. 
uh, mm-hmm. pain on their face. I like so. how he, he was like, man, they haven't even invented a, a chemical to, to get rid of this stuff. <laughs> They're like, wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and so they go 2v2. Right? Mm-hmm. Going in and out. And they're like swapping in and out and stuff. And it's pretty funny. Some of them mm-hmm. really screw up the serves. <laughs> like not even hitting it. Like Den, and, Den and Chan it, screws it. Like what? You you played Batman right. for a long time. <laughs> you, you said six years and you were captain. How did you mess up the serve? You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, eventually, everyone gets something painted on their face. Yeah. A couple uh, got excused. <laughs> because, <laughs> of course. He's like, like oh, how, that didn't count. <laughs> I like how Hoshimina like... She messes up her serve, but like uh-huh. she picks it up right away. She's just like, yeah, she just sneaks it in. Like, wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> uh, but at the end, uh, Shitara wins, or Shitara's mm-hmm. team wins. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, like, it shows them during the break and stuff. They're like eating mm-hmm. snacks, <laughs> just talking to people. It's like, oh, Inoue, mm-hmm. you released the photo book, right? It's like, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. nice. <laughs> I kind of like the little segment where they're just like yeah, sitting down, just talking cool. to each other. Just, uh, very casual right it's like hey did you guys meet the fourth gen yet and everyone's like yeah yeah mm-hmm. they're chill you know uh-huh. <laughs> and who says like oh she's not a, you, you you're really gonna like them no oh, yeah <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> she's like, right? she's you, like you always you always mm. like them <laughs> you're <laughs> supposed the to like me <laughs> um and so they uh show more of the pig the tag game mm-hmm. and it's like shitara's team is all huddling and stuff it's like oh who do you think they should like you know, who, who do you think do you, like you want him to pick for for a pig? And my tune, like she thought I was like, yo, look at she knew she said uh media is really slow. <laughs> look at the sneak. Uh, but uh, <laughs> their own team. But she's on the same team. <laughs> and media yeah. is just like, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. and so Himura's team goes first, mm-hmm. uh, and then it's Asuka, right? Asuka's the first pig. Mm-hmm. She's like tagging people. Mm-hmm. And like, the second pig out. is uh. <laughs> Manatsu. Manatsu's all <laughs> slow and stuff. And it only gets one person. She only goes for one person in, in Matsumura. And the She's like why trying to tag her like so many times like she kept missing uh-huh. and stuff. And then she had to stop and laugh. That's the only reason why. And Asuka's like, yo, dude, the second pig made no difference at all. Right. <laughs> She's like, she did nothing. <gasps> <gasps> and then, uh, so for Shitara's team, Media goes first as the mm. pig. And then, yeah, she tagged a bunch of people. Mm-hmm. Um, and so at the end, uh, Shitara's team finishes in one minute, but mm-hmm. Himura's team finishes in 58 seconds. Mm. And so, like, the, t- the Shitara's team is like, yo, wait a minute, dude. <laughs> they finished with all three pigs. We didn't. Mm-hmm. What the hell, dude? <laughs> so, like, they're looking over at the staff. It's like, yo, what's, uh-huh. what's up? And the staff dude's like, ah. Oh, my bad. It's, it's the other way around. <laughs> it's oh <all>, yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, yo, what the hell, dude? <laughs> Matsumura just stands up. Hey, like, hey, <laughs> yeah. what's the meaning of this? <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and so Shitaro team wins that game. Mm-hmm. Um, and at the very end, it's the team captains. They go at it with the sticks in the mm-hmm. in the powder pit. So Shitaro versus Himura. Automatically goes for the face. <laughs> and they're like hitting each other, but she started with like the the jabs to the face. Uh-huh. <laughs> Himura's like, oh, <laughs> he's all dazed and stuff, and he falls. <laughs> uh, and so they win with three hundred and five points. Say so they get like three hundred thousand yen, mm-hmm, which is like three thousand dollars. Yeah, and Himura's like, yo, are you gonna give him that much money? What the heck? Mm-hmm. What is this? What is this group? What what? Mm. Time for what Yakiniku, show now? right? <laughs> right. Mm. And so, next week, Ooh, we got the fourth nice. gen introductions. New there members. From the looks of it, it looks like two members are going to present them. Just from the previews. Yeah, and so in the previews, it was like Kaz and Keychain. Mm-hmm. Kitano Hinako. Maybe first and second presenting the fourth. And then freaking Momo is wearing the suit, right? Oh, so yeah. She's going to present someone. Mm. Uh-huh. That's right. <laughs> Can't wait to see that. See her mess up and then be like, oh, right. no, no, no. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's mm-hmm. going to be great. Mm-hmm. That's probably going to be a two parter as well. So the follow up, yeah, yeah. we probably have them. There are what, 11 of them? 11. So probably three episodes. Is there 11? It's probably going to be like. Yeah, just four, like four, when. Uh, the, yeah, like when Third Gen was introduced. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, they it was a few episodes. Yeah, dedicated. And I think that's good. Just that. dedicating to them, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you know, Instead of just new members, you gotta get to know them. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna see their little skills. Mm-hmm. Uh, it'll be it'll be good to watch. Looking forward For to sure. it. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, yeah, um, that pretty much does it. For the shilling, not shilling, the TV show roundup. That's the TV show roundup. And that does it for the show this week. That does do it for the show. How long was that show? That was like not as long as our usual one because Jimmy didn't distract us as much. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens? You know, stay on track here. Staying on track. Uh, next week, ho- hopefully, we'll have a guest. Hey. Um, we're still figuring out logistics. Uh, Jimmy's um, not, Jimmy's going to be gone, right? Jimmy's gone starting Jimmy's, this week. <laughs> Jimmy will be back next month. Next month, yes. He's busy doing um, Gen 4 activities. Um, <laughs> fourth Gen. <laughs> fourth Gen activities and, <clears throat> and Vietnam. Um, so he's going to be doing that. But we're still going to be here juggling Providing school you and, and work. the news. <laughs> podcast. Yeah. So it's, it's fine because, you know, the first few weeks... Uh, it's easier because mm-hmm. not a lot is out. Like next week is already a holiday. <laughs> is it? Is it for you? It is for me. What's next week? I don't know. <laughs> I just looked at the syllabus and it's like, oh, no lab. Oh, okay. Oh, well, cool. not, not for me. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Rip. Uh, but uh, yeah. Yeah, that does it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave your comments down below. If you guys don't know, we actually read it during the pre-show. So if you want to join along live, you can go ahead and see your comments read aloud and see our responses to them. Um, maybe next time we could maybe highlight one of the comments and talk about it on the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a possibility. So if you guys yeah. comment a lot. Like a discussion you, point type of thing? Yeah, like a discussion point or like a highlighted comment. Like maybe we show it. Something like that. We, we could do something like that. We'll talk about it. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, be sure to leave your comments down below. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, you can go ahead and do that. You can follow us and even hit the notification bell on both YouTube and on Twitch now. Bam. So you can go ahead and, you know, get a little notification. Oh, they're live. Time to join in and watch. Or be like, oh, hey, a new video with them doing this thing that is in the podcast or the podcast itself. So plenty of stuff to do. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that does it for all this week. Again, follow us on all the social medias. And catch us live next week, Tuesday evenings, Pacific time. Yes. Okay, bye.